Hello. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> so, <laughs> today's a big day. It's a big day. Because today is our 16 year anniversary. Yep. So we have been married <laughs> for 16 years. I didn't see that. <laughs> But Look, I will eventually. Celebration buttons. Yep. And we just got off Dinosaur, which was a lot of fun. It was a walk on. It was a walk on. And now we are, oh, we're at Animal Kingdom. Yep. Um, and now we're going to head to. Kite Tails ain't open yet. Not yet. I can't wait. But we're doing it. I'm Look at how cute sorry. all the things are. So. Look. Hold on. Oh, it's my boy Hey Hey. Where? Right there. Oh, I see him. It's great. That's amazing. It's so cute. These are all really cute. They are really cute. I like the kite tails thing. So now yeah. we're headed past Finding Nemo the Musical. Uh, Sad. Still not back yet. And we're going to go. Is it coming back? Yeah, but we don't know when. And it's going to be like a new version. Fatal error this morning. No sunglasses. Yeah, you dropped the ball. <laughs> so I'll either be fine or I'll buy a pair. One or the what? other. Uh, anniversary day. Anything goes on anniversary day. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna head to Kilimanjaro Safari. See if we can get on. The yeah. other mission for today, mm -hmm. Mr. Kamal's fries. Yeah, I've tails. been hearing about these things for years. Never had them. Need to have them. And I'm I am beyond excited for kite tails. Yeah. So I want to go to kite tails so bad. That's the goal. Oh look, it's Pocahontas. Oh, there we go. Oh, we kind of missed them. We can still see them. Oh, we can see them. I wanted to wave and tell them how happy I am to see them. Oh, look at the natural iridescence of the 50th anniversary <laughs> filter that we don't have. It's bouncing off my <laughs> skull. It is. Look at that. Ooh, just wow. like that. It's iridescent. Okay, so, um, walking around Animal Kingdom today. Yeah, nice cool weather out. It's not even it like 75. It's so beautiful out. Um, but we noticed a few things, and I figured we'll just talk about them really briefly, and we can expand upon them later. Yeah. So, first and foremost, we got here, obviously we're not staying on property, so we got here at 7, like 15. The park opened at 7.30. So by the time we got through the gate, it's 7.30. Oh yeah, the park was already open by the time we walked through the gates. There was not a lot open. No, there was like nothing open. Um, and I'm not just talking about like dining locations, obviously those wouldn't be open, but like mm -hmm. um, Gorilla Falls Trail, other trails weren't open. Sure. Um, Kilimanjaro Safari doesn't open until 8. Yeah, that didn't open until 8, but I yep. don't think it opened until after that. Yeah, I think they today. might have been a little behind today. Which is fine, but yep. it's just, you know what I mean, like something to note. But this got us thinking, because I don't know if it's worth like trying to get here right when the park opens. For this park, I don't know. I don't think so right now. Currently, I yeah. don't know. Because Everest um, is down for a refurbishment right now. Yeah. Um, so there's not much open when you first come through the gate other than flight of passage. Uh, Which if you're trying to run for that, I think would be fine. We weren't this morning. We probably could have gone on that and just oh, even got if, out of the way. Yeah, even with us taking an easy stroll, it was only a 60 minute wait and we came in later. Yeah, and right now it's only 75 minutes, which I'm not yeah. sure if it actually is, but not testing that today. Not testing that no theory need. today. No. So, um, but yeah, so that was just interesting. Yeah. Walk on to the dinosaur though. That was cool. Yep. Yeah. And everyone's favorite, it's tough to be a bug. Heck yeah. We didn't do that. No, but I'm just saying it is a walk on. It is a walk on right Walk now. on for free kids screaming. Yeah. I so can't wait. maybe we'll do that before we leave though. Yeah. We have um, to. We did a little bit of shopping. We got a breakfast sandwich, which was really, really good. Yeah, you you said you really liked that one. Yeah, it was like it was like a really creamy, buttery biscuit. It was good with egg, cheese, and sausage. So that was nice. Got the job done. So, but now we're kind of just strolling and enjoying. Yeah, we're in Pandora right now, and then we're gonna go do the walking trails. Yeah. So let's go. Let's do it. Hippo. So 
So we're sitting here waiting for Mr. Kamal's fries, and Russ is giving me a hard time. That's an understatement. I'm busting your chops like a champion. Why are you busting my chops? Okay, look, you make it sound like this is the end-all, be-all meal of this park. These are my favorite Disney snack. These french fries, I've said you it before it and I'll say lunch. it again. My favorite Disney snack. Because that's what I'm going to eat for lunch. This and the the, the dumplings. Ooh, I'm going to go to Flame Tree Barbecue or like... I asked you if you wanted to go to Flame Tree Barbecue and you know no. what you suggested? You'll eat a sandwich at home. Oh, coming overboard. Here we go. Oh, uh, you missed him. Sorry. Yeah, you make it sound like these like destroy any... These are snack. very good. I haven't had them yet. They're There's very two good. toppings that you, not two toppings, but two dipping sauces. You get honey mustard with curry and yeah. like spicy mayonnaise. Spicy, uh, spicy, spicy ketchup. ketchup. Yeah. Oh, party foul. You're like a non believer. Like He's a, a non believer, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, here's Ooh. the thing everyone has a different thing that they like to enjoy when they're at Disney. I like these fries. Yeah, Mickey premium bars are delicious. Mickey pretzels, Mickey waffles are very good. But these french fries are, they're, they're bomb diggity. We'll see. I, I, I do consider us uh, dumpling experts. So, I have high expectations. And you're the, you're like the potato goddess. You, you pass judgment like that dude does on Moon Knight on potato meals. <laughs> you hold the potato. You are garbage. <laughs> <laughs> no potatoes are garbage. There's a line and it's been drawn. Oh look! Chippendale. And Goofy! Goofman. <laughs> the Goof! Yeah! So after this, we are gonna head to see Kite Tales. I need a meal for Kite Tales. It's a dinner and a show. You need a meal for Kite Tales? Lunch and a now. show. I thought you weren't getting kidding. anything. No, I don't need nothing. I just can't wait to go see Kite Tales. Anyway. I'm so excited. Is it a long show? 15 minutes, I think. It's not oh, very long. See, like, that's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. So. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm so you're gonna so go excited. see Kite Tales after this and yeah. then probably head out. Yeah, we're gonna head home. And then uh, take care of the boys, hang out for a little bit. Yeah. And then tonight, Epcot. Epcot. So here we go. We All have right. the fries. Smell them. They smell amazing. They almost smell like a sweet potato fry. Again, we have a honey, honey There's mustard. There's like a honey, a curry. honey mustard with curry, and then a spicy some sort of ketchup. Yep. And then of course we have the gyoza, which are massive. First batch of the day, by the way. Oh, the line. It was a line. She wasn't kidding. Huh? I mean, I made a joke about it going, oh, there's going to be See, a line. I stood right up by the front and people were all like scattered, but I knew. I was like, <laughs> I've done that before. Right, I wasn't making that mistake again. That's amazing. So not only does it look like it's double wrapped, it looks like it's twice fried over. Yeah. And let's be honest, this thing is stacked. It was really good. It's not, it, usually the night they're not so filled. All right, I need to try a French fry without any dipping. Yeah. Ooh. I like that spicy ketchup. I think that's the ketchup one, and this is the honey mustard. It's almost like a watered down red sauce. Spicy red. Oh, that's way better. Oh, the curry sauce is where it's at. The curry dipping sauce is where it's at. That's phenomenal. All right, we're gonna eat these. We'll be back. Yum. Hold on, let me, let me, I'll tell the camera. These are very good. I do not consider them my favorite snack in all of Wait Disney. until you're done. Still don't. No. Wait until you're done. We'll see. Are you ready? What? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. We're gonna get a very magical pint here. Here we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Where's the microphone? Oh! Welcome to Epcot, ladies Welcome and gentlemen. Welcome to Epcot. Um, it's the evening. Yeah, so we went home. Um, we spent some time relaxing yep. with our boys. Took the fuzzies for a walk, like three walks. Yeah. I, I just, I was going places for, you know, around the area and stuff, and I figured I'd make them come along. And it was really beautiful out, so we opened up the whole house, and it was, like, really nice. Oh, it was so lay on the floor and pass out kind of day. Yeah. It was great. So, um, so that's and what we did. Back. And now we're at Epcot. So, let's work some magic today. I, okay, so, um, everyone talks about, you know, Genie Plus and Lightning Lanes and what have you, and... We, being being this uh, uh, is our anniversary, um, I thought, you know, I would like to ride at least one ride today. That was, like, special, if you will. So, you know what I mean? Like, Flight of Passage is definitely Catherine's favorite. I'm a runaway railway person. Um, and one that we definitely haven't done, or at least I haven't done, was Ratatouille's... Remy's Ratatouille Ready, Adventure. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, I played the game. Uh, we missed out this morning. However, I sat on that floor relaxing and just I refreshed every once in a while. I wasn't like constantly doing it. I did it for like maybe a minute or two. Yeah. And then I saw one. I saw multiple actually. Yeah. And I was like, oh, let's grab one. Let's grab one. And then we missed out on it. It went so fast that we couldn't even get our hands on it. But. An hour later, I tried again and poof, came up. Yeah. Got it. Um, now, I will say, um, Disney, you definitely, I feel like Genie Plus should definitely be to at least the on-prem uh, On-property guests On-property guests, for sure um, But the Lightning Lanes is a cool option You know, because in all honesty <laughs> It was great It was kind of great We literally walked walked into the Epcot and walked right to the ride and done yeah. So then we ate yeah, so we were actually at the Tangerine Cafe, mm -hmm. um, and we got the Mediterranean flatbread. And Which was so good. It was. It was very good. It was very flavorful. It's not for everyone because it does have olives on it as well, and tomatoes and artichoke hearts. So it's like it's not for like the pickiest of eaters if that's not your thing. No, there is a lot of flavor. Um, and then we also you actually wanted to get the rose panna cotta pistachio because that's how I say. It. Pistachio. I say pistachio. I don't know why. It's just, it is what it is. It's sp pistachio. Um, and then we get the, the pan uh, rose panna cotta, which was light really and very flavorful, and it was great. Definitely, when you break it apart, hint, break it apart, flip it into the, uh, the pistachio the crumb. crumbs. Yeah. Stop making fun of me. But anyway, okay, so now we're moving on. I really want to get the cinnamon roll. Uh, yeah. Bacon bites. I think that might be the next thing. Maybe. We got a heck of a long way to go though, so yeah. there might be something in between. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Doing it again. Cinnamon roll bites. Enjoy guys. Thank you very much. Absolutely. How does it look? I don't know. We'll see. Do they look okay? Wow. How's that? That's divine. A little messy, but it's worth it. Much better than the chicken sandwich. So, what do you think of Spaceship Earth? I'm dumbfounded right now. I really am. Um, this is amazing. I think everyone dreamed of something like this, and now it's a reality. But the video doesn't really do it justice. No. No, no video does that justice. So, it's a little dark, but we're talking anyway. Yeah. Welcome back to the car. Uh, today's food was phenomenal across the board. Um, Animal Kingdom. I will agree, your french fries are on point. Flower and garden food though, top touch. We found the car. Found it. Which is good. Anyway, um, but we had a great day. Yeah. We're going to drive home and we will uh, we'll catch up with you guys then. <laughs> it's so dark. We're home now. Long day. Sitting on the floor. Our couch still hasn't come in. Yeah, we had an issue with that one. It's delayed. Uh, no, it should have been here over a week ago. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. It's a different story for a different day. Yeah. We'll be in a future video, probably. <laughs> I had an amazing day. Me too. What was your favorite part of today? I know we kind of talked about it in the car, but like, did you have like a, like a thing that you were like, that's the thing? 
Kite that tails. stands out. Kite tails? Seriously? Let him know. I'm listening. Kite tails, for sure, was an amazing show. I like it because, okay, I know people laugh and stuff like that about it, and it's kind of dumb. It's just kites or whatever. But that's the whole point to me, is the fact that it is just kites. It's repurposed show equipment. You know, the jet skis were from... Uh, Epcot Forever. Epcot Forever, and they had them, and they didn't know what else to do with them. And then this is what came of that. I think that's really cool when it comes to the Imagineers and, and or just the, you know, the show uh, choreographers and stuff like that. So whoever did that, kudos to you. Um, and you brought Jungle Book back to the Animal Kingdom, which I think is awesome. You know what's funny? I wasn't even thinking about that, but that's a really good point. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's an old classic film. And we um, don't see a lot of Jungle Book in Animal no, Kingdom. you don't see it anywhere. You see, like, Up and Lion King. And clearly, you know, Flower and Garden <laughs> yeah. festival stuff. Anyways, um, but yeah, so, sorry, Kite Tales definitely takes the cake uh, as number, I'd say number two. What was number one? Um, number one, seeing Spaceship Earth lit up was just astounding. It's, I feel like no matter how many pictures, no matter how many videos, it doesn't matter the quality, it doesn't matter any of that. I don't um, care if it's VR, it's not the same. No. A little bandit butt back there. <laughs> um, it, it is an amazing sight. It really was. Um, to be up close to it to be on the opposite side of uh the international um gateway and stuff like that it's just just ridiculous i do kind of really i really like it from far away though like it yeah. really it, it has its own beauty really far away and then in the same breath it has its own beauty up close yeah so like it's two experiences it's I one feel thing like. from like america yeah and then it's another thing from Future Worlds. Yeah, and I think that's the thing is like, you know, depending on what's in front of you to going to it kind of changes your feelings towards it, I feel like. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you, you're in Japan, you have the, you know, the Tori Gate and everything, and it's just like, wow. And then you go over here, and then you see the Harmonious Barges, and you're like, wow. I feel like they get bigger. I swear they're bigger and they're closer. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like, I, I, I just, this gross. <sighs> anyway. I still haven't seen the show yet. We were gonna we were gonna stay tonight, but then we we decided against it because we spent so much time out. And the boys who are like sitting right behind you, and then of course there's that one right there. Let me see. <laughs> um, they spent quite a lot of time home by themselves today. Yeah. So we didn't want to we didn't want to really push it, and we knew that like if we stayed for Harmonious, we'd be there late into the evening. Yeah. So. so yeah, but for now we didn't get a chance to see that, but we got a chance to do some other stuff, and that was awesome. It was great. Had some food, you know. Rode yeah. some rides. If um, you had to pick only one food from today, oh my god, you're gonna make me that pick one. That was your one? favorite food. It could only be one food from today. What would it be? The one thing that stands out to you. Uh, stands out to me. Yeah. The panna cotta rose. That's the same one for me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I the the cinnamon, uh, the bacon cinnamon bites and stuff like that were delicious. Those were really good. Um, I had them before. They were good this time too. And the French fries were very good. <laughs> but I think the thing is, is I expected them to be what they were. Mm. The rose took me by surprise, and not only did it take me by surprise, it was very delicious in a very good way. Yeah. Um, it reminded me. It reminded me of Japan. Yeah, in a, a in very a sense. like light floral taste. Yeah, it's something that you don't get a lot in America. Oh, hi, Smokey. Um, you know, or if there if it is in America, we just haven't had it yet, so it's still part of that experience. <laughs> we hope <laughs> that you enjoyed coming along with us today for what was. <laughs> He's too young. He's being so silly right now. He's being um, a cutie. We hope that you enjoyed joining us today for our 16th anniversary. Yep, 16 years in the books. Yeah. I can't believe it. 16 years. And Russ said something to me earlier, which I think is pretty awesome. This is our first anniversary celebrating it on the day Actually, in the time the zone. Yeah. Yep. We haven't, been, we haven't been in this time zone since we got married. Yep. So, so 16 yeah. Extra years. Extra special. Took us 16 years to get back here. 
Amazing. <sighs> well. I'm exhausted. I'm very tired, too. We have a very busy day tomorrow. Yeah. We have breakfast at Steakhouse 71. It's really exciting. I can't wait because I haven't had breakfast since before uh, the whole world went sideways on its head. Yeah. So uh, excited to go out and eat some breakfast. Yeah. And at a new restaurant. And I've never eaten at the Contemporary before. Yeah. So neither have I. All the experience. So everything is new. Yeah. Very so. exciting. But anyway, thank you guys for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> and we will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye.